Hey 49ers faithful. Our team is constantly striving to get better and bring you more victories. Before we dive into today's hot topic, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for all the latest updates on our beloved 49ers. Today, we're talking about the stalled contract negotiations between the San Francisco 49ers and wide receiver Brandon Ayuk. There's not much optimism surrounding these talks as we approach the critical training camp deadline at the end of July. The 49ers ideally want Ayuk on the field with quarterback Brock Purdy to continue developing the chemistry that led Ayuk to a career-high 1,342 receiving yards last season. Ayuk missed the mandatory minicamp earlier this week, skipping the two sessions that wrapped up the off-season program. This absence has subjected him to fines totaling $101,716, which will increase if he doesn't show up for the start of training camp. His absence sends a clear message to the decision-makers, pay up before I show up. Jeremy Fowler from ESPN recently updated us on the contract negotiations, and it seems like nothing has changed. During a Sunday segment on SportsCenter, Fowler reported that, things have stalled a bit. They're going to see what happens over the next six weeks before training camp, said Fowler, according to Joseph Zucker of Bleacher Report. The 49ers want Ayuk long-term, but so far, they're not willing to show that they'll meet the wide receiver market, where we're seeing these massive numbers. Brown in Detroit, $30 million, Justin Jefferson well above that. Ayuk is set to earn $14.124 million on a fifth-year option exercised by the team, which is less than half of his perceived market value. According to Michael Silver of the San Francisco Chronicle, the 49ers have offered Ayuk a deal worth around $26 million annually. Even so, Ayuk and his agent believe they can demand more. The wide receiver market has continued to explode, and the 49ers' tendency to take a slower approach in contract negotiations will undoubtedly cost them, provided they can close a deal. Ayuk believes he's a top guy, and so something has to give, Fowler continued. He's worked himself into a top 10 receiver conversation. We'll see. There's not much momentum right now. Not a lot of optimism. What do you think, 49ers faithful? Will the team and Ayuk come to an agreement, or are we looking at a prolonged standoff? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more 49ers news. Go Niners!